It is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Uh, unless you live under a rock or maybe didn't pay attention at all to the news yesterday, uh, big news items or big news item from the World of Outlaws uh, announced yesterday. Um, the World of Outlaws iRacing Invitationals will make their next appearance uh, live on Fox Sports 1 tonight. Um, 8 p.m. Eastern, tell your friends, tell everybody uh, that you know. Sprint cards and late models at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway for feature events tonight, Fox Sports 1, 8 o'clock Eastern. Um, and these are live events. I saw some questions about this yesterday, tried to kind of put my two cents out there with it, but these are new races, these are live races, these are not tape delayed, uh, these are not recordings of races that they've already run up to this point. These will be new, fresh races tonight, Fox Sports 1, live, 8 o'clock Eastern. I just want to make sure I say live. Did you hear that? It's live. These are these are new races. They're live. Um, anyway, uh, sprint cars, late models, two features. Uh, sprint cars, we will see Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Brad Sweet, Carson Macedo, Brian Brown, Austin McCrawl, David Gravel, Logan Schuhart, uh, and more. Kind of the, uh, you know, a similar cast of characters that we've seen in, in some of these races up to this point. I believe the field for both is capped at 20. Um, and I'm not sure yet on a format. I don't think we're going to quite see the same programs we've seen because there's such a short window to get both races in live on TV. Um, so I don't think you're going to see all the heat races and, and you know, all the different, you know, all E feature, D feature, all that type of stuff. Uh, um, it might just be qualifying in the features. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I think we'll probably see some more details come out uh, later today as, you know, it's only about 930 this morning as I'm recording this. Um, but you, you'll probably see a condensed show, but you will see, I believe, a 35 lap sprint car feature and a 50 or 60 lap late model feature. Um, so you will get uh, all of that. Driving late models again, we'll see Scott Bloomquist, Bobby Pierce, uh, Chase Briscoe, Ashton Winger, Logan CV, and, and more guys. They're kind of releasing some of those names kind of slowly out on social media as uh, they started that last night. And obviously, we'll, we'll release a lot more of those today. You're also going to look at, uh, you know, probably seeing NHRA guys, Cruz Pedregon, and Ron Caps again. They've been involved in several of these shows already as well. So it'll be a really fun broadcast. Johnny Gibson's going to be in there on the call with Adam Alexander, and then Clint Boyer and Jeff Gordon will be in there also um, kind of from the NASCAR side of things. So it'll be really fun, uh, you know, especially with Clint Boyer and, and Jeff Gordon there, you know, their kind of dirt racing involvement and, in, in, uh, you know, in the past and, you know, Boyer owning the late models and things like that. So um, it'll be super fun. And I think it's important to note that, uh, you know, Fox Sports 1, I think, is kind of looking at doing more of these um you know, kind of midweek deals and, and um, you know, if, if these work out, if, if there's a lot of people watching, then they will certainly look at doing more of them. So, you know, if you want to see more stuff like this on TV, um, I would certainly go check those out. This does not replace the the weekly shows that will be on Dirt Vision. Those will also continue. Uh, this is kind of in addition to the stuff that's already been happening. So um, anyway, if you'd like to see more of this stuff, um, certainly tune in and, you know, tell everybody around you to, to watch also because I think ratings are going to be important and, and the numbers are going to be important for this to see how this kind of continues and grows in the future. So, but anyway, Fox Sports 1 tonight, Wednesday, live, 8 p.m. Eastern, Word of Outlaws, iRacing Invitationals. Make sure you check that out. Uh, this week on the USAC Thunder Relive series over on Flow Racing, uh, Thursday night, that is tomorrow, Bill Rose will be in studio with the guys to kind of talk about his kind of tumultuous career. Um, that will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern. That uh, USAC Thunder Relive series has been really fun so far on Flow Racing. Um, and then that will lead into USAC's uh, iRacing broadcast that starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. They're going to have their competitors take on Kokomo Speedway in the midgets. We'll kind of preview some of that stuff tomorrow um, on the show, tell you about, uh, uh, kind of remind you of who's racing and, and kind of what you can expect from, from that competition tomorrow night. Um, I think that'll be a fun one. The midgets are really fun on iRacing. And I think, you know, with what we've seen with some of the dirt racing stuff so far, um, some of those iRacing shows, I think this will be a really good time. But we'll talk about more of that stuff tomorrow. Uh, Saturday on USAC Thunder Relive, Kem Kevin Thomas Jr. is in studio. Um, and that will, again, be on flow at 8 p.m. Eastern on Saturday to uh, talk about his career and, and some of the neat stuff that he's done also. So check those USAC Thunder Relive shows out. Um, and I believe USAC is still showing uh, races 24-7. So if you're looking for something to watch, even right now, you can go over to flow and, and find some stuff to watch. Uh, USAC announced a bunch of spring uh, cancellations for some of their events, obviously due to um, coronavirus um, going on right now. I wanted to run through that list, give you an idea of some of those races that have been canceled. There are national events that have been affected right now. Uh, April 4th at Lawrenceburg Speedway for the USAC National Sprint Cars has been canceled. Uh, Riverside International Speedway April 10th and 11th for the USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midgets. 
Uh, Bloomington Speedway for the sprint cars on April 17th. Um, Tri-State Speedway on April 18th for the sprint cars. And then April 24th at Kokomo for the USAC Midgets. The, all of those events have been canceled. And then eight USAC regional events in April have been canceled. The Central Arizona Speedway for the USAC Southwest Sprint Cars. Highland Rim Speedway for the East, uh, Eastern Speed 2 Midgets. Bloomington Speedway on April 17th for the Midwest Thunder Speed 2 Midgets. Bakersfield on April 18th for the USAC West Coast Sprint Cars. April 19th at the dirt track at Kern County Raceway Park for the USAC West Coast Sprint Cars. Paris Auto Speedway on April 24th for the USAC CRA Sprint Cars. April 24th at Wake County Speedway for the Eastern Speed 2 Midgets. And Shenandoah Speedway on April 25th for the Speed 2 Midgets. All of those events have been canceled. Um, it does say USAC and track promoters are working on finding options to reschedule some events. Um, but this does say these were canceled. So uh, we'll try to keep you up to date, obviously, as more of these um, announcements kind of come in. And, and, you know, hopefully we can kind of get back to racing soon. But... I think for the time being, we're going to see more of these, but just want to keep you up to date. But those are the USAC um, announcements. You can get more of that stuff at USAC Racing. I think USACRacing.com. Let me just check, make sure real quick so I don't, uh, yeah, USACRacing.com so I don't sound like an idiot on my own show. Um, some other cancellations, the Spring Nationals Late Model Series uh, kind of uh, events. They're, they kind of run through the spring at some different places. Um, they have announced that events at With Raceway and Taswell Speedway have been postponed. Those were events originally scheduled for April 10th and 11th. And then the tour has announced the postponement of April 17th at Boyd Speedway um, and April 18th at Sonoya Raceway. So um, all of those events for the Spring Nationals Light Model Series, all of those have been postponed. Uh, we'll see if they're able to get those rescheduled for maybe later in the year. Um, but those kind of the Spring Nationals kind of a late model series uh, around the southeast and and uh, um, you know, have some decent money on the line for some of those races. So hopefully they'll get a chance to get those rescheduled. If you're looking for something to kind of, uh, you know, read and peruse uh, here uh, over the next maybe couple of weeks, Jeremy Elliott has started a countdown of top 25 sprint car crew chiefs since 1990. You can find that at sprintcarunlimited.com. Um, if you're not a member over there, go ahead and check that out. I think he's through the first five or six guys so far. And, and I don't know if he's doing it every single day, but he's releasing them fairly regularly. So check that out. Um, I think those will be interesting to see. And then and then we can get on Twitter and argue about who we think is actually the best 25 crew chiefs. Um, I finished the code and the database changes necessary to start adding late model races. Um, and I actually, yesterday was a, a super busy day for us with, um, you know, kind of all of the Fox Sports 1 stuff happening and, and making sure all of that was going how it needed to. But I was able to get... Um, the first late model race and first World of Outlaws late model race in the database um, and making sure all of that stuff is working. I would like to get at the very least the 2020 races into the database before I kind of turn that live to the public. Um, so look for that here hopefully pretty quickly. Um, but the first race is in. I have all the drivers in and all that stuff. So we will uh, start slowly adding those and then we can start talking about some of those stats and it's the, the kind of the nice thing is is a lot of the stuff that I've done for the sprint car side will just easily transfer over to the late model side. So a lot of those stats and things that I've already kind of built for them, including the driver ratings and some of the, you know, the track stats and, and you know, heat race wins and laps led and all of that. Like I don't have to go in and redo that work. All that work is already done. I just need to make a couple of small changes and that stuff will all be ready to roll. So um, I'll hopefully be able to start rolling that stuff out here within the next couple of days uh, over at Dirt Tracker. So if you are a uh, uh, board and looking to look through some stats and some numbers. I will certainly have that stuff up here very quickly. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of see how that goes. And then, um, you know, I might do what I did with the sprint cars and maybe get a couple of series worth of race or a couple of years worth of races in, and then maybe move on to another series. Um, cause like I mentioned the other day, I would like to do some Lucas oil light model stuff, some all-star stuff, some USAC stuff, um, depending on what I can find and what I can get access to here, uh, over the next couple of weeks while we're, uh, while we're hanging out. Uh, that's the show for today. Um, hope everybody has a good Wednesday. Uh, don't forget, Fox Sports 1 tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, it'll be a big night for the World of Outlaws and a big night, I think, for dirt racing in general to kind of get some exposure and, and uh, hopefully people tune in and check it out because I think it'll be really, really fun. Um, and especially if, if some folks have enjoyed the uh, the NASCAR iRacing stuff that's been sh uh, shown on Fox Sports 1 up to this point, I think they will really enjoy these races as well. 
But you can find Dirt Tracker Daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe, leave me a review, uh, tell your friends. You can also watch the show on YouTube and Facebook. You can also subscribe to the show on YouTube uh, if you'd like to do that. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com. I've been checking that every single day. Uh, you can follow us at facebook.com slash dirttracker, twitter.com slash dirttracker, and the website dirttracker.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Justin underscore Fiedler, uh, and you can sign up for the Dirt Tracker weekly newsletter over on the site. I sent one of those, uh, a new one of those out yesterday. Uh, so if you'd like to check that out, you can certainly do that over at dirttracker.com. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you guys, like I said, have a good Wednesday, and we will see everybody tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.